We can be brave. We can be brave. Welcome back to Compassion Camp, everyone. This week, we're going to be learning how compassion helps us to be brave. See, to be brave, we need to let God help us to see and reach out to those who need help. See, God empowers us with His power to be able to restore relationships in our community, with each other, and within ourselves. Being compassionate is not always easy. Sometimes we need to take risks in order to ease someone's hurt or suffering and to be brave by protecting and speaking up for others. Today's story includes heavy lifting a massive hole and friends who took a big risk to help their friend in need. Now watch how one act of bravery stunned and changed an entire community. One day, Jesus visited someone's home. Everyone heard he was there and were so excited to see him because they'd heard he healed and helped people so they could be part of their communities again. A friend who was paralyzed had friends who took him to see Jesus too. When they got there, it was so crowded that they couldn't even enter into the house, let alone reach Jesus. It looked impossible. But then they had a brave idea to take their friend to the roof and lower him into the house where Jesus was teaching. A typical roof was made from wood, grass, and mud, and sometimes tiles would be laid on top. Now stairs led up to the top of the roof where they usually slept in the hot summer, and poles held up the flat dirt roof. And from the inside of the house, the ceiling might look something like this. Oh boy, that was quite a drop, and that took a lot of work to take apart. And the paralyzed men had to trust him, even though he couldn't see anything while he was being dropped down. When Jesus saw their faith, he was encouraged, and he told their friend, Your sins are forgiven. In that culture, they thought disabilities were associated with someone's sins. So by removing his sin, Jesus said, I see you and love you, and you are made whole for your community. Some temple leaders called Pharisees were watching Jesus. When they heard him say this, they were angry, and they thought to themselves, Who does Jesus think he is? Only God can forgive sins. But Jesus could tell that the Pharisees disagreed with him, so he said, But what's easier to say? I forgive you? Or get up and walk. I'll show you that it's possible to do both. With compassion, Jesus turned to the friend who was paralyzed and said, Get up, pick up your mat, and go home. You are healed. He stood up amazed. He picked up his mat, went home with his friends, and everyone was so happy. They praised God because they had never seen anything like this before. friends had so much faith in Jesus that they did extraordinary things to bring their paralyzed friend to meet him. You too can also show that faith in Jesus by bringing your friends to meet him as well. Just like the paralyzed man was trapped on a stretcher and in sin, she's going to trap me in these little thumb cuffs. I'll make it. Oh my goodness, it's so tight. I see a little dots on my hands. It's turning red and blue. Oh my goodness. Well, she's going to cover my hand and let's see what happens. Oh, these are such beautiful flowers. I forgot to give them to you earlier. Ah, I guess I was set free. See, Jesus has set me free because I have faith in him. Now let's see what happens when I put her thumbs in these cuffs. Are they on tight? Yeah. Oh no, she's stuck in there too. But as a friend, I'm going to bring her the love of Jesus and share all the promises that he has made to us when we invite him into our heart. See? 
Jesus is the key that sets us free. See, when you invite Jesus into your heart, he will do amazing things through you too. Just like those friends, Jesus is a friend to us as well, and he empowers us with his power when we invite him into the room of our hearts. Will you invite Jesus to dwell in the home of your heart as well? Do you have room in there for him? He'll do amazing things through you. All you have to do is ask. Dear Jesus, please come into my heart and set me free from sin so that I can spread your love throughout the world. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. See, Jesus is our superhero and we're his friends, so he empowers us with his power so that we can be brave too. I think you are a hero and you don't even know it yet. Jesus gives you all you need right now to change the world. Like Nathaniel, he's 12 years old, and he's not okay with the fact there are people who don't have clean water, and he raised enough money to help 30 schools in South Africa. And Madison, when she was 15, she created a beauty pageant for boys and girls who have special needs because she wanted to celebrate real beauty. And Bob, who's working right now on a school in Uganda so children know that they are loved. Compassion helped each of them be brave. A paralyzed friend had courage to trust his friend and ask Jesus for help. He was brave while he was being lowered from a roof, not even knowing if he could get in to see Jesus or receive a miracle. The friend's courage made sure to be by his side through his troubles, doing extraordinary things to get him where he needed to be, even if they got turned away or couldn't even enter. Jesus' courage showed the paralyzed friend that he was loved and accepted. Jesus was brave even when others were judging him. Compassion helps us to be brave. Compassion also means that we keep our eyes on Jesus even when others judge us. How were the friends brave? We can be brave. How was the paralyzed friend brave? brave in the story. his love into us and he wants us to be brave enough to pour that love and compassion on others and as we do we can be a team of compassion working together to spread God's love through the world now it's time to pray please put one hand on your head and one hand on your heart because compassion starts in the head but we feel it in our heart repeat after me dear Jesus your compassion always look like courage. Strengthen our hearts with your bravery as we risk, reach out, and lift up our siblings near and far. Help us keep our eyes on you. Amen. Thank you so much for joining us today as we learn more about how compassion helps us to be brave. See you next time.